Physics C is a second year course. And so all the tools and foundations you learned in Physics 1, we're going to use again in Physics C to take you to the next level of understanding physics and understanding how science and math come together to figure out stuff in the world. It's awesome. I think that on average it will come out to be about one to two hours of homework a week. Um, usually kids try to do it all in one sitting and so then it gets longer, but if you spread it out it, it can be a little easier. Homework includes watching videos of teachers explaining concepts and so there's a lot of help to do your homework. You should be interested in getting ready for a rigorous four-year college and any career but specifically, it would be very useful for kids who feel like they want to major or study something in science, technology, engineering, or math. You can get college credit towards that degree because it's an AB class, uh, but you can also get exposure to the material so that when you take it in college, it's a lot easier and you have an advantage over other kids who didn't take it in high school. The only grades are test grades and labs, so homework and quizzes aren't graded. Um, the tests are not just one grade for the test. When you take a test, I get like three or four, sometimes five grades out of that test. Because you're not graded on just a test, you're graded on the specific concepts and the questions on the test that test you on those specific concepts. And so when you take a forces test, you get grades for Newton's first law, Newton's second law, Newton's third law, instead of just one big test grade. That way you really know what you've learned and what you need to work on. Again, anyone who is interested in science, technology, engineering, or math should definitely take this class because it will prepare them for college. But anyone who wants to go to a competitive four-year college can use this class to show colleges that they are ready to take on challenging courses of any kind. And then it will prepare them to be successful in those classes and in any future career. Uh, physics is one of those degrees that you can get almost any job in. Specifically, you can go in technology fields and um, help build uh, superconductors, and you can go into fields with medicine, you can go into fields of engineering. The possibilities of a purely physics degree are endless. Physics, though, as a class, is part of the coursework and the degrees for a lot of different um, d uh, majors. And so it's useful to take physics in high school because no matter what major you pick in college, you might have to take physics and this will prepare you for that. One of the really cool labs in AP Physics C is the toilet paper challenge. One roll of toilet paper is just dropped and the other one is held on to one end and let unroll and the challenge is to try to figure out how high to drop them so that the dropped one and the unrolled one hit the ground at the same time. And in AP Physics C, you learn the difference between something that's moving in a straight line and something that's moving in a straight line and rotating. And it's really cool when you get to the final answer and you drop one and you unroll the other one and they hit the ground at the same time because you prove that physics works. And that's why physics is awesome.